It's in coyote attacks on humans in Portland, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife hoping to prevent more. Coyote attacks, of course, are very rare on people. Joseph Dames is with us to discuss what's next here for Fish and Wildlife. Well, Dan and Jennifer, normally coyotes try to avoid people, but the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife tell me from time to time a coyote might become habituated in residential areas because of a food source or because of a change in behavior for something like rabies. So in the last month, Multnomah County Animal Services have had two cases you can see a bite there from coyote attacks in southwest Portland. With this being a serious concern, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife is stepping in and investigating to hopefully prevent any further issues. A big reason for this is for safety for residents and to prevent rabies. Now I'm told rabies cases are extremely rare, especially with coyotes, and that no coyote has tested positive with rabies in Multnomah or Washington counties in the last decade. Now, Monoma County Health Services in Portland tells me that rabies is a serious virus that needs to be attended to if exposed to a wild coyote. Rabies is a very serious virus. Uh, it is preventable if someone's been exposed and they complete the rabies vaccine series following the bite. Um, the vaccine is very effective in preventing rabies and rabies itself is a, a, a deadly virus. Now, according to Oregon Health Authority, in 2017, there were 14 Multnomah County resident cases involving rabies. None of these were related to coyotes. Eight of these were for exposures to bats, and six were exposures to animals in other countries. Now, coming up at 5 p.m., we will discuss what the Fish and Wildlife plans on doing with these specific coyotes or coyote, and how it is different from our recent cougar attacks. Back to you.